Force, Mars Astromech. Astromathic Duct, Terror Prime. For Brigadier General, the report says that our resurrections have necessitated reallocation of our war resource and the resulting collapse of several dozen war zones. This stratagem has been affected on the word of Belisarius Corps with your seal of approval and that of the Primark Gulliman. I must ask, were the forged worlds of the Adeptus Titanicus built on the ruins of a different empire entirely? And if that empire is resurgent, do we have the might to overcome it? Yours in doubt. Adapted. Addendum. Message source eradicated. The stark truths hidden beneath the surface of Amon Tep II are being laid bare as the Adeptus Mechanicus seek ever harder to capture its mineral bounty. The full scale of the Necron presence is becoming clear, but the Adeptus Mechanicus has faith, and faith can change the fate of the world. A great groaning and creaking fills the air as the battle rages on between a mechanized warrior and a mechanized skeleton. One after another, sinkholes appear around the edges of the dust bowl, and the dunes forming the high walls begin to melt away, a steady trickle of sand turning into a flood. Ridges and corners form amongst the shapeless masses of the sand, the sharp black lines of some long sunken metropolis become starker and more obvious as the dunes tumble to nothing more than scattered drifts of sound. Skitari and Necron alike stumble and sway as the ground shakes ever more violently, but still on they fight. The spires of the cathedrals of industry that had previously dotted the horizon slowly vanish from sight as the jet black towers and ziggurats rise higher. In the space of a few cataclysmic moments, the dust bowl had been revealed as a vast artificial plaza of black rock fringed with vast crenations. For the Adeptus Mechanicus, it was all but impossible not to stare in horror and amazement. What they had presumed were scattered blackstone ruins are in fact the crowding structures of a vast and buried Xenos metropolis. The fortress disgorges garrison from shimmering portals that open in the flanks. Rank after rank of silvered skeletal necron immortals are marching out, some already firing. Crackling bolts of Tesla energy at the Alga Wargraves, hacking through the Necrons at the heart of the Blackstone Plaza. Magos Oligostrian, caught between the impulses of terror and awe, found his mind glitching at the enormity of the revelation that faced him. How this once familiar world, being infested with Xenos from the beginning, had the Adeptus Mechanicus, having claimed this planet as their own for ten millennia and more, unwittingly settled a world that already belonged to an older empire. How had such a titanic truth lain hidden all this time? The Magos shook the barrage of doubt from his mind, emitting a new spheric blurt to his underlings. The Magos Dominus summoned his surviving warriors in close, sending a burst of location data along the data tether that linked him to the Landers. Absently blasting a charging can- canoptech wraith with a stream of bullets from his macro stubber, he sends a priority request to his Armager Warwave outriders. It was obeyed instantly. The nearer of the two giant walkers soaring its huge chain cleaver into the tip of a towering obelisk. A keening scream comes from the Necron leader in the obelisk's shadow. In a blast of light, the Armager is toppled in a storm of energy. Yet, it had completed its task. The Magos Dominus skittered forward, took up the fallen capstone of Blackstone Rot in his Mechatendrites and tucked it under his robes before allowing his Skitari 
to close ranks around him. The sample is secure. He sends out another doctory imperative, searing into the minds of his warriors, and they begin to enact a fighting withdrawal towards the landing zone coordinates. The Necrons have the advantage of numbers, but from their jerky movement they are a from stasis, and the Centauri move swift and sure. He at least would escape 